you can see the house is just full of crap and a lot of it's clothes and we were thinking about trying to recycle it maybe uh, um, compost it or weave it or something even briefly thought about giving it to Goodwill till we realized how bad a condition this stuff is so uh, what we're doing is uh, got the bucket here at the end of the of the house and we're just taking a pitchfork and pitching it in and then we'll take in the stuff we're just doing stuff that's burnable and we're going to run that out to uh to the fire that way we really uh reduce the amount of stuff that we're gonna have to get a roll-off container for because you gotta pay for that. About eight tractor loads. I got one room clean out of a dozen, but uh, it's coming along. Kicking that stuff out the window into the bucket works so good that I got about wheelbarrow height right there at the floor joist. And one of the rooms had the most trash. Now I just took a chainsaw, being real careful about the staples that hold it on. I tried to pull the uh, plywood out. Just take this sheet of plywood out, the four by eight sheet. But the staples held it so fast that it broke. So like I said, I just took a chainsaw. <coughs> First I went through the sheetrock on the other side to make sure I wouldn't hit any wire or uh, anything. Then I came back, watched the staples, and just cut out, you know, about two by four spot. And then I could just pull it straight out into the wheelbarrow and dump it. Okay. Other things we've been doing is taking the uh, siding off so we can get to the windows. We're going to salvage as many windows as we can. Uh, had a guy going to take this uh, vinyl siding, but that fell through.